everyone this is Rashi and welcome back to the reading platter and in today's video we will be going to do my September TV I know it's very very late I was really busy with all the extra works and everything although I filmed the roles on 1st of September I know what I am going to read this month and I am currently reading those books as well but here's a video for you so that you can also know what I'm reading this month. Uh, I was thinking of not making this video actually to be honest because I was so so busy but still I am making it because I am already not making wrap up videos that much so I thought like at least I should make TBR videos and I'm flipping page to my TBR books and yeah so let's move on to the first rule because I'll keep talking nonsense okay so this is the truth bag as you can see T the truth this is hair and this is the dare bag we'll keep it here so the role number one is one one that means one is a truth from the truth bag I need to revise the rules. I'm playing this game after two months and I do not remember anything. So let's pick up one here, this one. Do you support the LGBTQA plus community? Yes, I do support it and I would love to read a book. So, okay. So the first book was to read an LGBTQ plus and I have a perfect book for this, which I am not able to read for last one year that is red white and royal blue by Casey McQuiston see I forgot that but I do remember it now so yeah red white and royal blue I have been meaning to read this book for like so many months and it's been on my TBR for so many months but uh, okay now uh, as I have just bought this book on audible uh, I bought it in a video you can watch it i'll link the video up here and down in the description so you can read it so um yeah so yeah, i'll i'll i it's been 15 september today and i haven't started the book but that's okay i will i still have 15 days to go let's move on to the next rule moving on to rule number two it is a six that is a dare so let's pick up from the dares and let's go for this one more than 500 pages i do not need this that's something i really needed yes yes i needed that yes a big book yes well there has been a book on my TBR for four months which I have started but did not get any chance to read. You know what, I'll post my August wrap up so you will know that I was actually very very busy in August. I read like so many books for my exam. So yeah, I'll be trying to read this this month that is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. It is more than 500 pages, I guess it is 550 or 60 pages and it's a huge huge book i read the first chapter i really love the first chapter so i'm expecting a lot from this book that's why you know when i expect a lot from one book i keep it aside i don't know why but this happens with every book every book and when i end up loving it i always think about continuing the series and then again i end up keeping it aside but uh, i'll try to you know uh, change it I, I get overwhelmed with the beauty of the words but I'll try to you know control myself and read the book that I have picked up so yeah I'll try to complete this book if not complete I'll read at least 300 plus pages that's the goal we are safe for now so let's roll our third roll it gave us a one again that means a truth we are safe again and truth um, 
this one book with magic okay okay so the next role gave us magic okay to read magic see there is this webtoon seven fates chuck ho by Haim, and uh it's it's like it's updated every saturday so i have read like first 12 chapters and then it went on a hiatus and then it came again in august it came on 20th august 21st my was my birthday so it was a perfect game. so i haven't read i i I read one episode, I was trying to not read it to control myself, but I could not. So I will be continuing it. It's been like four to five more episodes which I haven't read. So I will be continuing with this uh, and till September 27, 25, 27, it will have seven episodes that I won't have read. So I will be reading that. It has magic and everything and supernatural creatures. So that counts. Role number four. We are safe. And let's see. A three. A truth again. We are not safe anymore. So let's pick a truth. Um, this one. Do you have a five star prediction? I do have one and I want to read, I mean complete that list. So the next book is to read a five star prediction. I have a lot of five star predictions to complete which I haven't. So I will be reading People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Um, first of all, it was on my January or February TBR. I did not get to read it. I read every other book but this book. See again that that's what I'm saying. If I love a book, if I'm if the book is hyped or if I want to read it, I just don't read it. I keep it aside. I don't know why, but this happens. You know, it just I just get overwhelmed. But yeah, I'll, I'll this one has has a lot of books that I want to read that I am wishing to read that I really wanted to read and everything. So you know, I'm getting overwhelmed already. But I'll try to push through. I have started doing lives as well. I did my first live. If you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description. So you can go watch it. So I'll be doing lives and reading these books so that I get to read these books. If I roll a truth again, I'll have to add a roll. And I do not need this because I have a vlog coming soon. A very like big vlog. So let's hope for a dare this time. Okay, please roll a dare. What is it? What is it? <gasps> it is a three. It is a truth. I have to add a roll. Well, let's pick up a truth and this one. Will it be good to have a book by an Indian author? I don't think so, really. I have a lot of books that I have to read. So, we have to add a role. And uh, yeah, and this role gave us an Indian author. Actually, last month I read so much from Indian authors that I don't want to pick any other book by Indian author. Actually, I'm not saying the books were not good. The books were good. Some were not. Some were very, very good. But I really want a change. But what can we do? So we'll read The Namesake by Jhumpal Lahiri. It is a very, very, very old book and a very short one. So it is less than like 100 pages, I guess. So it will be short, quick and everything. I haven't bought it. I did not find it actually anywhere. If I get an audiobook of this on YouTube or something, then I'll go for it or I'll have to wait. Uh, or something i don't know if i my friend or a library has it i'll have to borrow it but i will read it because it is on my 22 books for 2022 as well so yeah i have to read it i have no choice role number six which could have been the last role but it's not so okay one a truth again i need a dare dare prompts are fun Okay, let's pick up truth again. An author you never read. Um, so, this could have been our last role, but it's not. And the role gave us 
to read a book from an author that I have never read before. And for that, I went on Audible because I have a lot of audiobooks that were that you, they give with the membership. So I have this book that is A Vineyard Valentine by Nina Boshi, and uh, I really love the storyline. And it is a cheesy one. First of all, it's an audiobook. It's a short one, so it will be quick to complete. At least I can complete two to three books this month. Um, I am like on a reading break or something. Not a slump, but I read actually a lot last month. So. Uh, I don't you know want to read but I will read because reading is a good habit and you all should have it so yeah I'll be I'll be listening to this book A Wine Yard Valentine it's a romance it's a con con contemporary romance audible original you'll not find this book anywhere on Amazon only on audible so if you want to read it uh, go check it out I love audible it's like since I have bought it it's been like one more than one year and i am loving this so so much let's move on to the last role and this is the last role now okay let's hope it to be good now our final role the last role of this month should be a dare please yes it is a dare Okay, this one, let your family choose a book for you, no, no, I did not want it this month, well, see, so this happened and I was so nervous that I did not ask my family to pick a book, I have already asked my father to pick a book for me, my brother as well, my, I haven't asked my mother. So, um, I did it in my live, you can watch it, uh, on my live I asked my mother, I gave her four options to choose from, she chose the book that I wanted to read and you can check, I did not tell her to pick the book that I wanted to read because it was on live, I wasn't cheating, I asked her on live, she replied to me and uh, gave me the heart principle. So let me tell you what books I sent her already the, that's already on the line but still let me tell you. Okay the first one was The Flatcher by Beth O'Leary then The Heart Principle by Helen Hong which she chose it's the last book in the Kiss Question series. The Royal Assignment it's an audible original and seatmate it's also an audible original so i'll be listening to the heart principle because i have it on audible so yeah these are the seven books i am hoping to read this month uh i don't know if i can read all the seven but i'll try to complete at least three books that's the goal for now and i'll be really really happy if i could complete more than three books so you know wish me luck and this was my september tbr um i hope like th this tbr was good to me okay there was an extra role but it was still good to me i have good books to read okay let's uh, let's end the video here i hope you enjoyed watching it and i'm sorry for talking a lot and yeah we'll meet in the next one